Well, kind of a gloomy day here in southeast Louisiana, Mississippi Gulf Coast as well. Let me show you why. And of course, it's all due to what used to be Hurricane Laura, now Tropical Storm Laura. And as you look at this picture, you can tell that there's not too much left to it. The eye is kind of dissipating away uh, along with some of the rainfall. But there's still a lot of areas in the state that are receiving some very strong winds and some problems with rainfall and uh, some coastal uh, problems too with uh, some measure of storm surge still out there. Models are still in agreement with what this thing is going to do over the course of the next uh, couple of days, and that is take a right turn and head over Kentucky and then on off the eastern seaboard of the United States. Here's a look at the National Hurricane Center forecast track, and as you can see, 45 mile per hour winds later on this afternoon or this evening, and then becoming a remnant low and possibly getting stronger once it makes its way back out over water when it leaves the, uh, the eastern seaboard of the United States. But for now, uh, it's the rain that's with us, and that's going to be our issue for uh, the the rest of today and into tomorrow it looks like into a little bit the weekend as well. So the the flash flood watch has been issued by the National Weather Service. It's in effect until 7 p.m. Uh, this evening. It covers all of us here in southeast Louisiana, not you on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. However, there's a tornado watch in effect for all of us here in southeast Louisiana as well. We've already been on the air a few times with tornado warnings from uh, storms that look like they were going to spawn some tornadoes. So I suspect that we may see more of that as we go through the next couple of days. Uh, coastal flood advisories in effect for all those areas you see shaded in green. That now includes St. Bernard Parish, Plaquemines Parish, and Jefferson Parish as well. And here's a look at the rain that we're dealing with. And uh, some light to moderate to heavy rainfall across southeast Louisiana. The roads are wet and slippery. It's uh, kind of windy in some parts of the area as well. So if you got to go somewhere, please be very careful. Hold on tight to that steering wheel. Some heavy rainfall moving over Purlington into Bay St. Louis and Diamond Head. If you're going east on 10, you're going to run into that. Take a look at what's happening in the East New Orleans, the uptown downtown area. Some more moderate rain starting to move into that area as well. And Plaquemines Parish is seeing some measure of light to moderate rainfall, and it's uh, stretched all across the uh, the lower areas of Lafourche Parish and Terrebonne Parish and on out into the Gulf of Mexico. So as that storm continues to move to the north and then to the east, all this moisture that you see here is going to continue to be drawn over our heads. So our rainfall chances today and tomorrow are staying pretty high and the amount of rain that we're expecting could be up to 2.3 inches over towards Hammond, almost two inches in Bogalusa, an inch and three quarters over towards Kenner, a little over an inch and a half over in Homa. So here's a quick look at your seven day forecast and those rain chances high today, high tomorrow, still pretty high on your Saturday. They start to fall off a bit on Sunday and Monday and then things get a little bit back to normal on Tuesday and Wednesday.